Hello everybody, I'm Neil Donkey. Welcome to my 2019 Royal Rumble predictions. This is going to be uncut, unedited, and fully hooded because I waited to actually 7 in the morning to do my predictions. So, I'm going to have to do this a little quick. But I'm still going to give my reasons. So, right off the bat, we have The Bar versus Mick Miz. I'm going with The Bar because... I think no one actually gives a shit about the McMillan storyline. I mean, it's heartwarming to people who actually care, but I don't. So I'm going with the bar. Next, for the United States Championship, we have Rusev Day versus Nakamura. As much as I love Nakamura, matter of fact, I'm going with Nakamura. I love him so much. That's just tough. And then Rousey versus Banks. Rousey. If Banks actually, if she's to, Rousey's not gonna lose until Becky taps her out at Mania. So Rousey. And now Becky Lynch versus Oscar. I think Oscar's gonna win due to some outside interference. I don't know by who or why. I think Oscar's going to win due to outside interference. And now Brock Lesnar and Finn Balor. Our snark alarm is going off. But, but Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor. I had, to, I had to actually stop it. Just I didn't want that in there. Uh, Brock Lesnar. There's no way he, that Finn Balor's dropping tonight. But if the Demon King comes, I can't swallow a decision because technically that's still Finn Balor. But that's for that right there. That belt right above my finger. You think Brock's going to drop it at Rumble? I sure she don't. He's going to drop that at Mania. Maybe to Finn Balor. I don't know. They've tried too much to make him an underdog instead of an actual con worthy contender. So Brock Lesnar. Now AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship. Daniel. If AJ wins it back, then what was the point of dropping it to him? Just for a little month, month and a half of Heal Daniel. Because Heal Daniel is actually really good. I don't personally like it, but he's really good. He believes in what he says, and like most people, I mean, not like most people, he actually has something to stand for. Wow. And now for the men's and women's rumble, just like last year, well, I would say we, but. He ain't here because he moved. I get two picks per rumble. For the wins rumble. Whether it's going to be Charlotte or Becky as a surprise entrant. And for the men's. It's rather going to be Seth Rollins. Let me think about this for a second. Yeah, after I had to think about it for about five seconds, Seth Rollins or Drew McIntyre to win the Rumble. There's no way SmackDown's winning it. SmackDown won it last year and it won both of them last year, really. And didn't really do much for them. So, yeah, I'm going to go over it one more time. And it's even going to be in the description below in case you can't tell what I've picked. Bar, Nakamura, Rousey, Asuka, Brock. Daniel, Charlotte, Becky, Seth, Drew. Right, put your comments down below to battle me for the bragging rights and the new championship for predictions. I gotta get that. So I've been Yellow Donkey. You have been my Yellow Bros and Yellow Sisters. Uh, Welcome to Royal Rumble Sunday. I'm watch.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a live review too though, just cause I'm happy. Go to my Instagram. It's also the Yellow Donkey. Peace, too sweet.